Tragic news today, Penthouse filing for bankruptcy. Now, if uh, you are under the age of, what, 35, you might not even have any idea what Penthouse is. It was, in some senses, a weak sauce playboy. Or, in other senses, a weak sauce hustler. Because Playboy was m better known, of course, and had the softer shots. Uh, Penthouse had slightly raunchier shots, but not really raunchy. So it wasn't quite as, you know, salacious as Hustler, and it wasn't quite as well known as Playboy. What I didn't know until today is actually that it was bought by Friend Finder Networks, and that's what's going under. And some of you might remember Adult Friend, Friend Finder. Uh, and that was the disastrous website where a lot of guys would go on, um, perhaps including some people in this studio. Yeah, okay, maybe I tried it once when I was single. And they would think, well, okay, I see some hot girls, and I'm like, adult friend, fine, I want to find them. Turns out that's not really what happened. Uh, it turns out that there's a lot, if they were looking for men at all, they might have been looking for a different kind of men and not exactly this. <laughs> category, but more likely than that, they weren't looking at all. <laughs> okay, so I'm not surprised they went under. It didn't seem like a, a steady business model. Uh, so now, of course, the times have passed them by in, in many different ways, both Friend Finder and Penthouse. Now there's apps like Grindr and what, what is it, Timber, Tinder, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are the kids doing these days? Tinder, okay. Timber! Well, that could have been a good, you know, name for that website as well. Anyway, or that app. So here's a part of the story that amazed me. That it turns out that their estimated liabilities for Friend Finder Network was anywhere between 500 million to 1 billion dollars. Okay, fine. But they must have had assets too. You know what their assets were? 10 million dollars. So liabilities of possibly up to a billion and only assets of 10 million. How do these companies get money? It drives me crazy. There are some companies I've heard of that have been profitable for quite some time in a very competitive landscape. <laughs> and meanwhile, you got companies like this, but, and that's what it is. Money begets more money. They obviously got some huge investment in the beginning. So since they had a huge investment, they just kept pouring the money in until it all ran out. Do you know they have not made a profit since 2008? five years of losing a tremendous amount of money, and finally today, apparently, uh, Friend Finder Networks, including Penthouse, says no mas, no more.